was there a particular song that, that had inspired please don't close the casket lid down the, the song that pretty much the whole Davalette centers around no <laughs> no <laughs> no no i just uh i kind of had an idea that there would be a refrain throughout the book of yeah. this song um and kind of a different version of a deal with the devil that the the character makes um when he is given that song and then the song becomes kind of a sought after thing because of its powers and it's kind of um yeah it's kind of always in the background yeah it actually kind of made me think of of like uh, the devil went down to georgia or something like that mm, yeah <laughs> i can see that i i yeah. think sort of like old 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 blue, scratchy blues records kind of a thing yeah yeah uh, not so much in style, but just the concept, you know, uh, mm -hmm. as, far as, as far as that song. That, that made me think of that. Um, what about Fat Andy's character? <laughs> yeah, Fat Andy is a um, just like a, a musician, traveling musician with his band, unsuccessful, playing small towns and trying to trying to build something from that. And then he's he's you know meets up with this uh, unsavory creature in a Leeds hotel room and um, is corrupted by this song that he's given. And um, it never really covers whether he goes on to worldwide fame from the song or not. And then he yeah. returns towards the end of the book in a, in a kind of a different context, but yeah, he's kind of meant to be a sleazeball uh, front man uh, in a like fifties sort of uh, band. <laughs> Yeah, yep. I, I, you know, speaking of which, I, I think it's interesting how, you know, the song definitely almost plays more of a part in the story than he does, oh, yeah. uh, having performed yeah. it. And I love how, like, you know, the song almost becomes this thing that, that that's outside of time. Mm -hmm. That you know, oh, was and, and, and nobody seems to know when it actually, you know, when it actually came out. Right, right, right. <laughs> various covers and, and all that. Yes. Um, <laughs> iterations. Um, and then, uh, you know, kind of branching out from that, which, you know, is definitely relative to, to the novelette though. Uh, you know, you, you've said before, I know you've said it to me privately and I, I want to say you, you, you've referenced this, uh, you know, uh, on social media, et cetera. Um, you, you've mentioned the war that's, that this novelette is kind of a, a, uh, a bridge between, uh, um, creeping waves and, and this war that's going to happen, uh, between, uh, between the WXXT crew and uh, and uh, the FCC, um, tell me a little bit about that. About I have a, <laughs> I, yeah, I have an idea for the third canon, so to speak, WXXT book, um, which would be part of the the third part of the trilogy of Gateways and Creeping Waves.